let me show you how you can tuck your oversized shirts seamlessly every effing time because I know this can be a frustrating process and it can be a pain in your beep but before watching this video i need you to keep two important points in mind number one think about what's the fabric that you're dealing with if your shirt is silk or satin then you have a totally different tucking technique as compared to if your shirts are linen or cotton think about this in terms of friction silk and satin they both are very smooth practically no friction at all. Linen and cotton, these fabrics are rough to touch. They provide you a lot more friction. So you need to put a different kind of effort for both these fabrics. Number two, think about the length of your shirt and think about how oversized it is. For example, the shirt that I'm wearing right now, it's very oversized. This is like the biggest shirt that I have in my closet. If you follow the same method that I use for this shirt for your, let's say, medium or not so oversized shirt, then chances are that the results might be different. So it's my humble request to keep these two points in mind. Let's get started. Let's start with this silk shirt from Daily Silk that is not too oversized. I will show you a technique that you can use so the end results look something like the video that you see on the side here. Basically, I want my shirt to flow over the belt, but at the same time, I'd like to have it tight and tucked in properly in the center front and the back. For this, you need to find the center line from the center of your bust and make a fold like I'm doing right now. This will act as a reference for where your shirt will start flowing over your belt. Now pinch these two points in one hand and start tucking the rest of the fabric with your other hand. Take your sweet time and this is what it should look like in the end. It's not perfect, not beautiful, but have some patience. Next, add your belt. I prefer a thick belt for this look. Once you have your belt on, you need to focus on the sides of your fold. Don't touch the center front, but only take the sides out little by little until you are satisfied. And that's it. You can roll up the sleeves, add some accessories, etc. if you want. This is the final look. It's an inverted V in the front, just like a French tuck, but a much cleaner look. Next, I have one of the most difficult combinations. This satin shirt from H&M has no friction at all, like zero nada. It looks something like this by the end of the day. In this case, I obviously need some external help and for that, I have this shirt stay belt from Amazon. I think it was around 10 or 15 dollars, but trust me, it's a lifesaver. Your shirt will not budge. So how this works is that these loops are adjustable and you first tie it around your waist just like a belt and then start tucking in your shirt. You tuck more on the sides to avoid that side bulge and gather some more fabric at the back if you want a more tight tuck. And make sure to place this belt either at the belt level of your pants or below it so it's not visible. And that's pretty much it. And here I am raising my hands just to show you how effective it is. Now just rolling up my sleeves and adding the belt. You can see even from the back it looks clean and tidy. Just in case it was not clear because of the shapewear that I'm wearing under these outfits, when you want to use the washroom you don't need to remove this belt. I'm wearing a shapewear because I don't want any wardrobe malfunction. Videos like these are always risky to film. I call this next method butterfly tuck and is my favorite way to manage super oversized and lengthy silk shirts. As you can see, this is a very difficult shirt to manage and I need a concrete solution for this one. I came up with this method that works wonderfully for me. You have to try this out. For this butterfly tuck, you will need three clear elastics. Now grab the front two ends of your shirt and tie them together using one of these elastics. Just make sure you don't tie it too high but keep it below your waist level. Now take these two wings or ends that you just tied and tie them again making a butterfly shape. I don't know how to explain this in words but I tried my best to film it for you guys. This is a close-up and as you can see, this way you have now created three points of friction. When these points get tucked in your jeans, they will make the shirt stay put and resist it from coming out. This also stretches all the fabric from the back to the front, leaving a tiny amount to be tucked in at the back, which also means no bulkiness or building at the back. 
Now tuck everything in and you are done. And it's so easy to use the washroom as these elastics will keep the shirt in place. Now here's a little test again just to show you how effective this method is. Please try it out on your silk shirts and let me know how it goes. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know that my parents are visiting us and my mom has completely taken over the kitchen. But now the cards are in my favor because we were running out of ingredients and she requested me to go out grocery shopping. I was like, no, I don't waste time on going out grocery shopping, making a list, putting the ingredients together. Everything arrives at our doorstep. We all are vegetarian, so based on this preference, HelloFresh sent me three options. Number one is French-inspired lentil salad. Second is mushroom ravioli and creamy pesto sauce. Third one is falafel couscous. I really hope that my mom says mushroom ravioli, but let's see. We have three options that HelloFresh sent us. Which one do you think we should cook today? Let us make salad. Okay, she wants to cook salad. We have all the ingredients and the exact quantity that we need to make this salad. So let's see what we got. Lentils, lemon, roasted walnuts, cucumber, shallot, honey, bread, and then we have some parsley and spinach mix. What I like about HelloFresh is that it keeps mealtime exciting with over 40 recipes to choose from every week. So there's always something delicious to discover. And not only it takes the hassle out of cooking, but it can also save you a lot of money because now you are not wasting your money on excess food. This delicious salad took us only 20 minutes and we were not even tired because everything was ready to to cook with easy steps to follow. So how's the salad? Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> While she enjoys her salad, let me tell you, HelloFresh has saved me so much time. Even when I was working a full-time job with content creation, I save almost, I would say, five to six hours. And this way, I can also spend quality time with my husband or my parents. Now, you can also get up to 20 free meals and your first box ships free by using my coupon code HFLIFESTYLECOG. But keep in mind, this offer is for new subscription only and varies by plan across six boxes. Now comes the most difficult part, cotton and linen shirts. Let's start with this cotton shirt that is very oversized and very lengthy as you can see. This is so difficult to manage, let alone keeping them in place for the whole day. But I have a method that is like the sweet spot for shirts like these. So instead of going for a normal tuck, pinch and fold the center line of one side and do a crossover. I'm going to repeat myself and speak very slowly. So instead of going with a normal tuck, Pinch and fold the center line of one side and do a crossover. This pinch and fold is done to avoid bulge in the front. Now the left side goes in the right side of your jeans and right side in the left. Trust me, this is the only way you can keep these shirts in place for the longest time. This crossover will provide a good friction and a very tight environment for your tuck. This also reduces the fabric in the back, but make the fabric flat as much as you can until you are satisfied with the end results. Let's raise our hands once again and test it out. This one has definitely passed the test, but like I said, please take note of the fabric, length, and the type of tuck I'm using for each one of these shirts, because the results can vary. If nothing else works, you can always go back to the Amazon belt. I get a lot of questions regarding this look and a lot of requests to show you how I have tucked my shirt. Honest answer is, this is just a simple tuck. No crossover, nothing. I don't need that because this shirt is not so oversized. And in this case, your final look depends on how many buttons are undone. I closed two buttons as you can see in the video and worked the fabric into the pants. A lot of work. As you can see, leaving buttons undone at the bottom makes the fabric easy to work with. And then I take my sweet time in the front and at the back. That sounded wrong for so many reasons, but what I mean is that there is no rocket science to this one. I then add a belt and few other accessories as usual, but because this shirt is quite old, I do have to use a fashion tape to make sure the collars stay in place.
really hope that this video was helpful and let me know in the comment section uh, if you have any questions because this whole time I realized I was looking in the mirror and not in the camera. So if something was not clear, just let me know and I'll try to answer all your comments as much as I can. And don't forget you can use my code at FLIFESTYLECOG to get 20 free meals at HelloFresh and your first box ships free. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!